Delhi joined in greeting Burma's Independence Day at a ceremony attended by Earl Mountbatten, India's Governor General. In Rangoon itself, 4.20 a.m. was the hour fixed by Burmese astrologers as the most auspicious time for the transfer of power. After the Union Jack had been replaced by the flag of independent Burma, the members of the new government were sworn in. At Government House, Sir Hubert Rance, the last British governor in Burma, joined with the President, Sao Shui Thaik, in a review of troops. Later, the governor went aboard the cruiser Birmingham and from her deck took leave of the new Burma amid the good wishes of her people. A special presentation to the Burmese president was a new car, the gift of the British government. Meanwhile, the people of Rangoon were celebrating independence in many different ways. Everybody walked the streets in their best clothes, some sucking lollipops, others having joy rides in jeeps. Men, women and children flocked to the great Shui Dagon Pagoda, while others went to the fun fair. Not far away, along the river banks, thousands more enjoyed music as they watched a water pageant. Most colourful item was a magnificent ceremonial barge, complete with dancers in traditional costume. The great statue of Buddha looks down on a people's rejoicings as Burma begins a new chapter in her ancient story.